RB and it's Terrific TV Toys and it is time for Series 5 from the Figures Toy Company line celebrating the 1966 Batman TV series. In this one we've got two male figures and two female figures, although the female figures are actually the same female, it's just a little change of attire. You're probably not going to believe that Barbara Gordon was yet another character created for the 1960s Batman TV series. It was the third season. Actually, it was leading up to the third season, and the producers of the show wanted to sell the show for a third season, keep it alive on the air. So they really collaborated with a couple folks at DC Comics, namely Julia Schwartz and Carmine Infantino, to create a female to add to the crime-fighting family. And we're going to talk a little bit more about the history of the actual Batgirl, this Batgirl, this beautiful Batgirl, next week when we take a look at that figure. This week we'll concentrate on Barbara Gordon. And as I said, um, they're all kind of collaborating together. It was William Dozier, the executive producer of Batman, Howie Horwitz, who was another producer of Batman, and um, the folks at DC Comics. And they really designed Barbara Gordon to appear on the TV show and in the comics about the same time. Now, technically, Barbara Gordon appeared in the comics earlier that year, 1967, in um, Detective Comics number 359 for January, I think it was 1967. And then it was September of that year, September 14th, 1967, that the episode, um, the first episode of season three, the episode that introduced Barbara Gordon and Batgirl aired. And so she made her TV screen, her overall screen debut on that date in September, and then her comics debut earlier in the year. And just as a little side note, you know, as of press time, we're in 2016 right now, 2017 is going to be the 50th anniversary of the Barbara Gordon Batgirl. I'm very excited. She's always been my very favorite character in any form of medium and, and TV, comics, movies, whatever. It's always been the Barbara Gordon Batgirl for me. And so I really want to celebrate that anniversary next year with some special episodes of Terrific TV Toys. So look forward to that. But I'm digressing a little bit. What we have here is the Figures Toy Company figure of Barbara Gordon, not Batgirl, for Series 5 um, in their collection celebrating the Batman TV series. And this is taken straight out of that Season 3 premiere episode, which was called Enter Batgirl, Exit Penguin, because she is wearing the little overcoat, the yellow overcoat that she wore in that episode. And um, there is a little bit of deviation here. They aimed for that episode, but tell me this. Um, in that episode, you do see that she's wearing a dress under her coat. It's not this color, is it? It was actually like a lemony yellow, so not exactly matching. Her shoes were pale in that episode, more of like an uh, I don't know, lemony ivory, for lack of a better term. Not a true yellow like this, but they're pretty close on the shoes. Now, talk about continuity, too. If you've seen that episode uncut, would you say that these screenshots are from that episode? This one certainly looks like it is because she's wearing that coat. Is it? Answer me that. Comment below. What about this one? You know, the storyline of that episode involves Penguin kidnapping Barbara Gordon because he figures he's going to marry her. He's going to force her to marry him so that he can be Commissioner Gordon's son-in-law and have immunity from prosecution. Wow, what a plan. So he kidnaps Barbara. He dresses her up in a wedding gown. He has no idea. He's got Batgirl on his hands. She sneaks off. She becomes Batgirl. She helps fight him off. It's a great episode. Is this a screenshot from that episode? It looks like she's wearing a wedding dress, but tell me that. Comment below <laughs> if you haven't seen the episode in a while. And then there's this one, too. Is that from that episode? So, you know, just a little, just a little trivia on the side. Uh, we'll turn her around for a second to see the very typical graphic design treatment on the back. Um, and you see here that... Got both the Barbara Gordon and a different screenshot, Batgirl riding her Batgirl cycle um, for the graphics on the back. Let's take her out of the package. I want to get a better look at that 
dress she's wearing too. From a fashion perspective, I am a chef. Oh, and let me um, give you another question here. I'm sorry, I'm full of questions today. This handbag, if you've seen the uncut episode, is this from that episode, that season three premiere? Comment below. <laughs> All right, Babsy, let's free you from these twisty ties. Love this figure. Of course, we saw another Batgirl, I'm sorry, another Barbara Gordon figure in an earlier episode of Terrific TV Toys. That was the Surf's Up Joker's Under variant. And in that one, this figure, basically the same figure I'm guessing, uh, was wearing a swimsuit, the same kind of black swimsuit that Barbara Gordon was wearing in that episode. And we concentrated on what happened in that episode. But this time, we see her, boy, she's real. Real um, stiff, solid. And, you know, in that season three premiere, I really felt like her hair was swooped up higher on her head than it was in the other episode I mentioned, the Surf's Up Jokers under episode for a little bit later in that third season. Um, and more, in, and I guess I say that just to make the point that more matching this figure's treatment of the hair piled way up on the head. In the other episode, <laughs> I mentioned that it totally reminded me of my favorite preacher in the world, Joyce Meyer. She wears her hair a lot like this, but it did not really remind me of how her hair looked in that episode. But now watching the season three premiere and her debut, I felt like it was piled higher on the head. That was just what I saw. You know, it looks like, oh, wow, that's a heckin' white turtleneck here. Okay, this is going to be interesting. I want to see what fashion, because the way, reason I'm interested in seeing what fashion she has on under this coat is that she did not remove the coat, um, at least on screen, in the episode. We saw her dressed in the coat. We saw her dressed in a wedding dress. We saw her dressed as Batgirl. But we did not see that yellow dress or skirt that she had on underneath us. Okay, we'll take this purse off for the moment, although I'm curious too. <gasps> Is there going to be anything in there? No. <laughs> that would have been so super cool though, wouldn't it? But no, there's nothing in there. I'll put something in there. I'm a girl. I'll get like a little Barbie comb or something out of a box downstairs and I'll put it in there so she can do her hair. All right, Velcro on this, um, it's almost like a, um, it's not a pea coat. It's just like an overcoat. It's almost like a long jacket in the 60s style of attire and it's got yellow jeweled buttons although in the episode the buttons looked a little bit different but double pocket treatment on each side in the episode too a lot of the same detail as on the episode they did a pretty good job replicating that oh look at her cute little outfit oh i love it do i dare take her coat off she's a girl i gotta dress her oh it's like a half sleeve Oh, totally cool. Look at that. She's so cute. I'm sorry, but I've got to take the coat off. There it is. Nice clothing tag. Interior detail. Take a little coat off. It's so cute. The mini skirt and the little, little um, turtleneck with shorter sleeves. It's a pullover. No Velcro on the back. It's adorable. I love it. If it would have been a little yellow skirt, I think it would have been just about perfect. It does have a Velcro enclosure in the middle on the back here. And, oh, let's take a look at her imprint here. Na -na 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 -na. Toy Company com Made in China. That's what that says. All right, okay, I just love her outfit. I would totally wear this outfit. In fact, I think I have worn this outfit. Something a whole heck of a lot like it. Let's take the shoes out. This is an outfit that transcends the decades. This is kind of 90s too, <laughs> not just 60s. And oh, look at the pumps. <laughs> Speaking of 90s, yeah, girl. Um, her legs got to straighten out here. Let's see if we can pose her. All right. All righty. Kind of. Can we stand her up? Na, 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 na. Da, da, da. Yeah. Oh, what an adorable girl. 
so adorable. Purse, please. Okay, going out shopping. I, ooh, I mean, going out to fight crime. <laughs> Tune in next week, and we'll have a little mini history lesson on the Barbara Gordon Batgirl.